JobTread's robust and flexible selections tool allows you to create selections in multiple ways. Today we're going to cover three different ways. The first is by adding selections to your initial proposal when you send it to the customer. The second will be sending a proposal to your customer first, getting that signed contract, and then sending the selections options later after the fact. And then the third type of selections option is to tie your selections to allowance items within your budget. Let's look at all three right now. If you'd like to include selection options for your customer to choose when you send your proposal, go ahead and make sure that those selection options are included in your budget. Within this budget, we've added all of our construction costs. So if we collapse this, you'll see we have all of our base kitchen remodel options within there. And we also have the section that has customer options with two selections groups. That's great. Now we can go ahead and click plus document create a new proposal, and then we'll want to make sure that all of these line items are included in the proposal, including the selections groups. Now we can click create, and you will see that the selections are included directly in the proposal document. So now you'll see a range and your customer can choose between the options here directly in the proposal, and they can also add some upgrade options and maybe include some write-ins as well. So once you're ready to send this proposal along to the customer for them to make their selections, make sure you hit save first, and then you'll go ahead and click the send button, choose who you're sending it to, and they will be able to make their selections right there in the initial proposal so your contract can be complete and you can move forward with the job. The second option to send selections to your customers is to send them after you already receive an approved contract or approved proposal. So in this case, let's say that we created a proposal and we got it, we got it approved and here we did not include the customer options or selection options within that initial proposal. So there are two things you can do. You can include your selection options here within the budget first, or you can add them directly to the selections tab. Let's move over to the Selections tab to create our selection documents. Here we're going to create individual documents that we're going to send to the customer for them to make their selections. Each document gives them the opportunity to sign it. They can view any photos, files, and videos on it. They can have a full dialogue with you back and forth discussing the selection item. And you can also include a due date for every selections document. So here we'll go ahead and create a selection document. We're going to call this countertop selection. Great. And then next, we're going to add an item or a selections group from my budget, from the catalog, or I can create a new item. So let's go ahead and choose the group from my budget. I'm actually going to only include the countertop selections group within this document. I can add these items. Now you can include multiple selections groups or a single selections group within a selections document. Here I can also choose if I want to tie it to an allowance, which we'll discuss in the next section. And then I can also select a due date for this selection. I can also add any files, photos, and videos that I'd like to to this selection document for my customer to review. I'll click Create. And now you'll notice that I have a countertop selections document. We can also create a new selection document here. And let's make this one um, paint colors. And let's say that we're doing a full home remodel here. So I'm going to add a group from my catalog. So I've already created a selections group in my catalog. And I'm going to select the paint selections group. And here you'll notice I have several selection items listed and all of them are write-in options. So when I send this to my customer, they can then enter in the name, the code, and the link for each of the paint colors for each of these rooms in the house. Let's say that the due date for this is going to be a little bit later. And then I can click Create. Now I have two selection documents and each selection document can have a full-on dialogue between me and the customer. 
I can also choose which recipients receive each of these documents. So maybe for the paint color choices, I'm going to include both homeowners to that one. And now I can go ahead and send this document to them and then they will be able to select their paint colors. The third way that you can add selections to your jobs so your customers can choose them is by adding them to allowances. Allowances are basically placeholders in your budget that you can include in proposals or contracts just to move that contract forward, get the approval, start the job, and then your customers can make the selections later on. So here you'll start by adding those allowance items to your job budget. So here we'll see several allowance items. They're indicated by the green dollar sign. If we look at the details on one of these cost items, you'll see we have the ability to now convert any cost item into an allowance item. Again, that will then mean that it's a placeholder in the budget and that other selection items can be tracked against it. Okay, so we want to add our allowances first. Once we do so, they will land in the selections tab as placeholders. Now here in the selections tab, you'll see we already have a couple selections attached to these allowances, and these are considered selections documents. So you'll see we have an appliance package selection. Each selections document does allow you to collect signature, to have a full conversation with your recipient on that document. You can choose one or more recipients to send it to, and you can have a deadline on the document. So in this case, this is an approved selection, so it has counted against our allowance amount. We also have the allowance, or the allowance upgrades here, so we've got our appliances listed. It's still in pending state, so none of these have tracked against that allowance amount quite yet until the customer selects them and signs this selection document. Now let's go ahead and add a selection document to an allowance. So we'll scroll down to the cabinetry allowance. There's no selection in there yet. So I'm going to click plus cabinetry allowance selection document. And here I can name it. So I'm naming this document. This will be called uh, maybe cabinet selection. And then I will go ahead and add a group of selections here. And I'm going to add them from my catalog. You can add them from your budget, but in most cases, if you're using allowances, you won't quite have those selection options in your budget yet. Or you can create a new group, or you can also add individual items and even create a new item. So let's go ahead and choose a group from the catalog. And I'm going to choose the cabinet selections group. And then you'll notice that they all populate on this document. So it's helpful to have some selection groups in your catalog already that you can just drop into your selection documents. I can then select the due date for this, upload any additional files, photos, and videos that I want to for my recipient. And then I can also click this edit item details to make changes to these items. Maybe I want to change the names, the descriptions. I can also hide certain items and reorder them as needed. So I'm going to close that and I'll click create. Now you'll notice down in our cabinetries allowance, we have a document right here. Perfect. Now when we're ready, we can always send this document. So first I'm going to go ahead and select the recipient. In this case, it's the customer here. Add them. Perfect. And then I can send it to them. Great, now we have a pending selection within that allowance. Once one of these selections is chosen, then that chosen selection will be added to your budget and you can start tracking your expenses against that line item. I will also mention in here, even though you're using allowances, you still have the option to add other types of selections that do not count against the allowances. So these could be either write-in options for them to choose their paint colors, or it could also include um, some upgrade options that maybe are not going to be counted within their allowances. You do have the ability to add as many selections documents as you need to and send them to the customer one by one. If you'd like to create multiple selection documents at once, 
you can go ahead and use this import tool on the top right. You can either import your multiple selection groups from the catalog, or you can import them from your budget if you already have them added to the job budget. Now, if you add them from the catalog, it's important that you set up a cost group or budget template in your catalog with those selection items first.